that black people try to separate themselves. They, we try to separate ourselves from different type of black folks. Right. We try mm. to separate ourselves from black people that don't got as much money as us. Right. We try to separate ourselves from black people that live on the other side of town, the poorer side of town. We try to separate ourselves from black people that don't have the accolades or the a education that we have. Why is it that we try to separate ourselves? Uh, simplistically, it's just another tool of oppression. Mm -hmm. That is just another product of oppression. Mm -hmm. That's another product of slavery. Because naturally, you don't think like that. Naturally, a black person sees a black person and just say, hey, what's going on, brother? Like, naturally, you want to be around your people. That's natural for you to, every person likes to be like that, though. White people want to live amongst white people. Uh, Hispanics would love to live amongst Hispanics. Blacks want to live amongst blacks. Chinese people, Japanese people, Arab people, you want to live amongst your own. People that you can relate to. But because of oppression, because of, because of slavery, blacks want to stay away from other blacks. And I, not only when we talk about slavery, we were going to propaganda. We were going to uh, persuasion. We were going to coercion. All of these things are tools that make a black person separate themselves from another black person based off the many factors that you, that you named. Money, wealth, uh, the way someone looks, the way someone acts, the, or where someone grew up at. All these things, the, the shade of someone's skin. Uh, all these things would, quote unquote, separate us when we know it's not supposed to. We know we're one people, all right? But it, let's be clear: you have to think about money, the the importance placed on money in today's society, and the propaganda behind money, and why people think money is so important, right? And no one's saying don't get any money, but we're saying. Don't place your value in money. Don't make your decisions on life be based off only money, right? You will have, let's say, let's just look at it. Just look at it from a, a standpoint from, from a head coach. You're not on the field. Just look at it when you're standing, you're standing far back, right? Black people have been oppressed by white people our whole lives. Literally oppressed. You can't argue that. We've been oppressed our whole lives. So some of us who do become rich, it's like we want to be like rich white people. Mm -hmm. You just start to adapt that. You're like, okay, he has a Mercedes Benz. I should get a Mercedes Benz. He lives in his neighborhood. I should live in his neighborhood. Mm -hmm. He drinks this type of water. I should drink this type of water. If I may, living in that neighborhood, that's crime free. That's in, in, in your mind. Mm -hmm. And you think it's crime free. Mm -hmm. They're doing their crimes inside the house. <laughs> yeah, you might, they're not literally outside, they're literally inside the house, right? So, Locky, excuse me. A rich black person wants to be just like a rich white person. Everything he does, he's copying rich white people. Why? Because rich, white people really are the rich people. They've made the concept of money in today's society, of the dollar in today's society. So, a rich black person would like to pick up and learn how to be just like a rich white person, why? Because you have to act like those people to get the money. So, but rich white people hate black people. But who they really hate is poor black people. They hate all black people, but they really hate poor black people. It's funny you say that because what, what I do know is that I see that even within uh, the white race is that they don't have any compassion for the poor of their own. People. Right. Like, I, I see them turn down poor and homeless white people all the time, you know, mm. and, and look down on them in a way that's like, damn, they don't even care about their own. So what more when it comes to you? Right. You know what I mean, so I was just going to, I was just brought that out. No, that's real. Yeah. It's very demoralizing and demeaning to a person who just doesn't have it to look at someone of their own kind and that person basically spits on them, mm -hmm. not physically, but metaphorically mm -hmm. or figuratively, just spits on them as if you're nothing. It was a quote by Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan, they were on, you can look this up, they were on Oprah. I've, I've seen this plenty of times. Charles Barkley was gonna give this homeless uh, brother uh, some money. Michael Jordan told him, don't do it. Why? Because if he can beg for money, he can go get a job at McDonald's. The thought process behind that is so bewildering to me 
Because even though I'm not the richest of people, I, even if I see a homeless person, literally today, mm-hmm. literally today, I'm not too my own horn. I just gave a guy a dollar. I ain't got, I ain't got a dollar to give. Right. I need every dollar I got. Mm-hmm. But what do I do? I, I give it to him. Because yeah. naturally, spiritually, that's just what we are. We're kind, empathetic, sympathetic people. Right. So you've learned from your oppressor um, how to be. Mm-hmm. Because you, we, we've been so uh, far off and, and we've been so casted off from our original identity our original morals, our original spirituality, we do what they taught us to do. They beat it out of us so we can learn how to be like them. So going back to the point, a, a black person who becomes rich, essentially, he sees these rich white people, he's going to do what they do to get rich. And then eventually he's going to develop the same mindset that the rich white person has. So if a rich white person hates poor black people, guess who this rich black people is going to start to hate? Poor black people. But guess what? Here's the kicker, and this is what people do not think about. Poor black people want to be what? Rich black people. So what, was a, what would a poor black person do to another poor black person? They would demean him. They would talk down on him. A poor black person would call another poor black person poor. They say, you, nigga, you broke. broke. You <laughs> broke. Me and you go to the same high school, eating the same free lunch, riding the same bus, live in the same neighborhood, and because your mother makes a thousand dollars more than my mother, mm-hmm. you're gonna call me broke. Mm-hmm. Because your mother probably does not have her, her, her priorities in check, mm-hmm. will buy you a pair of Nikes and I can't afford Nikes, will buy you some diggers and I gotta wear Payless, mm-hmm. you're gonna call me broke. Negro, you're broke too. Right. But it shows you the mindset that is placed upon us. A poor black person, his first, mm-hmm. even a, Think about it. As soon as you get some money, you can't wait to call a nigga broke. You just can't wait to do it. You're like, you know, broke, broke ass niggas. That's the first thing out your mind. Hey, and you know it's funny because you have saw, you have seen this when black people go onto online. Right. They flash their money. Brothers get a, a rap contract, and they flash their money and say, "You niggas ain't like me. You broke ass niggas." That's crazy, and it. It's constant. It's just the reassurance of you're trying to, you really just trying to get closer to white people. Mm-hmm. You want white people to accept you. Why? Because you brought out a book uh, about, I forget the lady's name. I forget the book name, actually. You brought it out uh, last week. Post-traumatic slave syndrome. Post- Dr. Joyce DeGruy. You have to reach success. You have to get around white people. Oh, yeah. Her, her comment was that in order to uh, be successful or have money, you have to be in close proximity to white people, mm. whereas white people don't even have to know what you go through on right. a daily basis. They don't have to know you, and they can live a life that is free from even knowing Come on. who you are, Come whereas on. you have to be around them in order to survive and provi- provide for your family and yourself. I think for people of color in America that our existence has required ha- having some proximity uh, to white people, to, to privileged people, because any of the resources that are available, they're not available for us unless we are in proximity of white people. And so what happens is we don't have the option to not engage different folks. It's part of how we move through the world. It's uncomfortable for people who have managed because of their abilities and privilege to not have to engage whole populations of people. They, their privilege says, I don't even have to know about how you move to the world. I, I'm, I don't even have to be concerned or even in any part of my day have to entertain your existence. And so, and they don't. The concept is maddening to think about what you have to do to really get money. You have to, it's like you have to do a, a song and dance, a, a, a pony and dance show just to receive money. Let me tell you something. You're not LeBron James. You're not 6'9", 260 pounds, running up and down the court, running a 4'5", and jumping with a 40-inch vertical. You don't have that. You're not Kobe Bean Bryant. You're not 6'6". Man, you are 5'10", 150 pounds, from the ghetto, from a broken home. Your chances of success is very small. It's very limited. It's very limited. But th- because you know that, you shouldn't feel bad about it. You, you shouldn't have someone tell you... You're not as good as them because they have more money than you. Here's the flip or, side of it. 
because, yes, sir. if I may, if you because you have an average job, right, you make the average money that an average black man would make. Is it wrong? Is it? Is, here's the flip side of the coin. So, a person, let's say a person with a million dollars, looks at a person who makes sixty thousand dollars and say, "Hey, man, you ain't nothing, broke ass nigga." Does that person think that the person who makes more than them is better than them? Mm. 